this president, I mean, this, this party will come and promise us you are going to do this for us. This party will come, they are going to do this for us. But for all that, we are not, we are not, I mean, we are not just witnessing everything, anything, we are not witnessing. So I just, I had 11 voters in my house and I promised myself, they will, all of them will not vote because of this uh, promise and faith for me, uh, promise and If they want us to vote for them, they should surely do what they promised for. They should fulfill their, their promise. We have only two major routes that we used to travel on. But we've seen that uh, this time around, we don't have any of those routes to travel on. MPP and NBC in this suburban constituency. Uh, some of the youth here are not ready to vote for them. Me per se, I'm not ready to vote for those two political parties. Our people are not doing anything. They want their stomach alone. They don't care the youth. When they change our town, our route, that's the reason I will vote for them. If they didn't change it, I won't vote for them. Some constituents of Saboba expressing their grievances over what they perceive as neglect by successive NPP and NDC government. The Saboba constituency is located at the northeastern part of the northern region. The main occupation of inhabitants is farming while some engage in trading. A few others are engaged in the formal sector. The constituency can boast of two senior high schools and a technical institute. The constituency since 1992 has been noted as a stronghold of the National Democratic Congress with Moses Bukari Mabungwa as the first NDC candidate from 1993 to 1997. He handed the baton to Nayo Blijo, who stood for a term as he was defeated by Charles Bintim of the New Patriotic Party in 2004. Charles Bintim fell to Joseph Bukari Ninke of the NDC in 2008. He made a strong comeback in 2016 and emerged winner in a keen contest. However, the incumbent lost during the NPP constituency primaries to Abraham Jawo, who will be battling it out with the NDC's Joseph Bukari Ninkpe as political parties intensify campaigns for the December 7 elections, some voters in the area say they will not vote. But supporters of the NPP believe the NPP administration initiated enough projects for the development of the people. A few days ago, uh, the, the, the constituencies were completely cut off. And it has to take the intervention of our parliamentary candidates to provide a vote as a stopgap measure to demonstrate to the people of Saboba that this is a leader that you can count. And we've tried other people and road continues to be our major challenge. He is the only savior we look up to to be able to salvage the people of Saboba from you know the problem that we have in terms of road. We've tried Ninke, who he was our MP for a good eight years. He never could advocate on the floor of parliament that this was our uh, MP that we have issues with roads, that road construction was one of the major problems facing his constituents. Should we retry him? No. We just have to change that we'll try a new candidate who has the credibility and the, the power to be able to make things happen for the constituents. And that is Honorable uh, Jawa bin Abadam Abraham. Rather than the three years of uh, Nana Abufu Ado's government, and for that matter, our current MP, Honorable Chas bin Upon bin Tim, We've been able to reach out to our people out there because there were a lot of things that they were in need of. And I think when we came for the past three years, if you go to Sabuba, it's not just the township. Sabuba is very large. If you go outskirts, you see that there are communities who were looking for portable drinking water. Now we've been able to drill about 42 boreholes for our communities. And I'm talking of 42 communities. Talking of one village, one dam, most of the communities who were in need of these things, we have been able to uh, to dig some of those what uh, one village, one dam for uh, for them. And I think basically human needs are what uh, numerous. We have needs, we have wants, but we I think we have chopped a lot of successes. Even though we have not done all, but for what we have been able to do so far shows us clearly that. The people will what repose their what uh, confidence in the NPP come seven December 2020. 20.
But does the NDC think same? Ever since the MPP became and came to power, Saboba has been blacklisted. We have never seen any project that is being implemented. This is a government that came and said what well, they are promising every constituency. They are giving a one million dollar per constituency. We are not seeing what what the money is being done for. If you go to the district assembly, we have money such as DDM, that is district development fund. We don't know what they are using the money for. And imagine about the, even the one million dollar per, per, per constituency. If you go to Zongo, where I come from, they started a project in 2018, a toilet facility in 2018, 2019, and 2020. Yet that same project is being abandoned by their own self-government. Whenever we are asking them salient questions, nobody wants to respond to it. So in the short, I've told you our investment talking about the road sector, I've told you what we have done in the educational sector, I've told you what we have done in the electricity sector market. So based on all these records, when we are getting to the community, the people are seeing what we have done, they trust our candidate and they are very much aware that inshallah come 2021, they are going to vote massively for Abukar in the and vote massively for His Excellency John Dramani. Look at the water problem that we have. Even this water thing that they are talking about. We it was during end this time we secured this project. Well, and the World Bank. We said this is on the radio server time. They said it, was, it wasn't true. That it won't come on, boy. It won't come on. And now it has happened. And they are saying that they have they brought this water. And I found that we don't have water. Water doesn't flow. Water flows in only some few standpipes. And these standpipes are far away from people. So now there's water. We just, if not because of the World Vision, World Vision that have given us uh, bokus in our communities. In fact, there would have been serious crisis in water levels or I mean, a lot of diseases that our people have been suffering from. So we just want to tell our people that they should just keep faith in us. They should just have faith in it. for them to be. They have done their worst. They have done their best. And their best is not the best. The NPP is coming in with a new candidate, whereas the NDC is marching them with a former. What do the supporters make of the candidates? For me, I'm just looking at it that Apart from uh, what the opportunities this man have, because they are, they are incumbency, and such, uh, what do you call it, uh, resources will still be available to him. What other extraordinary thing is he coming to do? And so he still cannot match the former MP's uh, uh, performance within the period he was in office. Change of candidate is nothing to, 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 to talk about because uh, the candidate is an old member in town here. We know him very well. He has been to, uh, he was just a teacher like me seated here. And uh, it was because MPP won, they took him to, to, to Accra as a CEO. But he can't boast of anything. Even though it is a government appointment. But what has he done for the people of Zawa with his appointment? He has not taken anybody there to go and help in terms of uh, employment. So I don't think changing the candidate is anything. Saboba is one of the safest seats for MPP. We are not going to be complacent. We are going to ensure that we will campaign, campaign and campaign and campaign and let the people know what we have done in the constituency. I tell you, everywhere you go, the name Abraham Jawu rings a bell. He is one of the finest and renowned officials in Saboba. Even though this is the first time we are presenting him, we are very optimistic that his credibility and what he has done for the constituency will enable us to win the election for the vast margin.